so this one isn't um this story time with lily book we don't have um a uh stuffed animal with us but this one so this one isn't really a christmas one but it's still a story it's called the snowy day if you want if you have your own copy and want to get it please do The snowy day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow as he walked with his toys pointing out like this. Like that. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Like that. So he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. What do you think that thing is? Because you can see he's starting a new track over here. Give you some time to think. See blue hat over there? Alright, pause the video if you don't know the answer already. And so the answer is a stick. He he found a stick to make that new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow on top of Peter's head. He, th he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough yet. Has that ever happened to you? You weren't old enough to do something yet? I know that's happened to me. He made a smiling snowman. He made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went inside to his warm house. He told his mother about his adventures as she took off his wet socks. He thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. Felt very sad. You know what happened to the snowball? It melted. Because it's warm in his house, remember? They said if his jacket might have stayed outside, maybe it would have been warm. I mean, maybe it would have stayed, but he brought it inside, so then it got warm and melted. He slept and dreamed that the sun had melted away all the, sn the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. Snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. So that's his dream. But then, that's what's actually happening. After breakfast, he called his friend from across the hall. 
and together they went into the deep, deep snow. So I did not know this, but now I'm starting to think, I think he lives in an apartment because they said down the hall. And unless you shared a house with somebody, which probably isn't that likely, um, it me it probably means that he lives in an apartment. So um, here's a picture of him and his friend. And that was the end of the read a lot. Um, my read a lot for today. So um, I hope you enjoyed the story and come back next time at Story Time with Lily. Bye.